Anyone who has ever owned an email address has at some point received spam and it's time consuming, it's frustrating, and it's just annoying. And so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you three ways to cut back on spam. Okay, I know this is probably the most boring video I'm ever gonna make, but it's spam. It's, it's not that exciting to talk about. Hopefully it helps some of you out there who are uh, struggling with spam. We'll, we'll get back to the intro. Roll the intro. What is up guys, this is Max Square, and like I said, I'm gonna be showing you a couple ways to cut back on spam. As someone who has way too many email addresses, something like 15 email addresses, I receive tons and tons of spam every day, and I've actually come up with a pretty good system that cuts back on that spam, so I'm not cluttering my inbox and trying to figure out what's important and what isn't. And so as boring as this video may be, hopefully these tricks will help you. Let's jump right into it. So the first method is to use a service called unroll.me. This is a free site you can go to and basically the way it works is that you log in with your email address. Currently they have support for Google, Yahoo, Outlook, and AOL. Unfortunately that means if you have an email address with a custom domain, like I have web at lukevanzale.com, you can't actually use it with this service, but I'll show you a workaround for that in just a second. So go ahead and sign in with your email address, just agree to the terms, allow them to read your email address, it's all very secure. The way you can tell is that it has that SSL certificate right at the top left. Promise this isn't spam. Okay. And then you can just go up to edit subscriptions and it'll list every single newsletter that your email address is attached to. And what makes this service almost fun to use is that you can unsubscribe from all of those newsletters right within this website. So you don't have to go to the bottom of the email, click the link, enter in the email address or figure out which email they send it to. You just, you don't have to do any of that. You can literally click on the one you want and hit unsubscribe. Now, if you do wanna say subscribe to a specific newsletter, you can select keep an inbox, but it'll still remove it from the list that it's showing you you're subscribed to just so that you can still go through all your spam. Now, this isn't necessarily a new service. As you can see, I've unsubscribed from almost 800 different emails in the last few years. So it's really, really useful to use. And you can actually download the free app for your phone or iPad. So if you just wanna do it in the morning or as you're going to bed, just unsubscribe. It kinda of works like a Tinder app. You just swipe left or swipe right to keep to get rid of this, uh, so boring. Now if one of your main email accounts is not Gmail, AOL, Yahoo, or Outlook, what you can actually do is forward it to one of those accounts. So like I said, I have an email address web at lukevanzale.com, which I use for a lot of spam newsletters when I need to sign up for stuff. And so what I've actually done is forwarded that to one of my Gmail accounts so that all those newsletters will still sign up here and then I can unsubscribe from them using this app. Now the second method is pretty obvious, but I feel like it's worth mentioning, and that is to go to the specific email address that is spamming you, scroll to the bottom, and then select unsubscribe. I know that's pretty obvious, but if for some reason you can't connect to unroll.me or a similar service, it can be pretty useful to just go through emails while you're there if you've got an extra few minutes and just unsubscribe from a lot of junk email. Now a third option is not gonna be free, but if you're just getting way too much spam, you don't even know what to do with it, then you might wanna consider purchasing this app. And that app is called SpamSiv. You may have seen me mention it in past videos, but basically this is a third party plugin that will just run in the background and filter a ton of spam for you. It is a little pricey coming in at $30, but if you're getting a lot of spam and it's taking up your time, it's probably worth it to download this app. Once it's running, it'll create a folder in your sidebar called Spam, and then it'll just pretty much send every and any email you get to this folder. So you do kind of have to watch it for the first week or two, but it learns really quickly. And the way it learns is that if you get an email that's important and it goes to spam, what you can do is click on that email, go to message, and then select train as good. Then it'll move that email to your inbox and mark it as unread. And then any future emails you get from that address, it'll mark as good and keep sending them to your inbox. But likewise, if you're getting an email that is spam and it's in your inbox, what you can do is select that email, go to message and select train as spam. It'll mark it as spam and send it straight to your spam folder. What's so great about this app is it just runs in the background and after a couple days, it gets really good at filtering what is spam and what isn't. I must get at least 50 junk emails a day and I almost never see them because it goes straight to the spam folder. Now one cool thing about this app is even though it does have a dock icon, you do actually have the option to hide it and they even have a web page that you can go to and you can just click a link to hide it or click a link to show it. You don't even have to mess with terminal commands, it just does 
all of it for you. So guys, thank you so much for bearing with me through all of that boring content, but I hope it helps some of you out there who are struggling to maintain all of your spam and junk email. Anyway guys, that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will definitely see you in a much more exciting video in the near future. See ya.